Well, little do these chicken know that. That we only feed them so that we ultimately can kill them to have fried chicken. Well, but uh, luckily still one chicken gave me a little feather here, uh, which I'm going to put under the microscope and uh, it goes into my little plastic container and back home. Um, I make a mound and I'm using a vegetable oil because uh, chicken feathers are hydrophobic. Um, they do not uh, really like to get in contact with water very much. Uh, so uh, um, an oily substance like, uh, like vegetable oil is very suitable here. Um, cover glass goes on top um, and uh, then, well, there's a little bit too much oil here, so I'm trying to soak it up uh, with a little bit of tissue paper. It doesn't work quite well because uh, capillary action is not very strong in oil. But in any case, everything goes under the microscope. And this is now what I see. There are many little so-called barbs in the chicken feather. Well, that's actually not the correct way of saying it. Uh, a chicken feather is made of barbs um, and uh, these are the diagonal dark lines that run across it and those little fine here these are called the barbules and uh, what you cannot see quite well is is that they should have little hooks there that uh, make them interlock with each other so this actually makes sure that the fe feather is very stable and also repels water and because everything is covered in grease um, water really does not uh, get in contact very well with the feather. There's a lot of air in there as well. Um, and this means that actually water runs off very um, easily uh, from the animal. And this uh, of course also protects it not only from, from getting wet, uh, but also from getting too cold. Maybe there's a little look here at the center top that you can actually see, okay? So what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to put uh, this dark field uh, patch stop into the filter holder of the microscope. Um, and I'm going to put it uh, beneath the microscope here. And the reason is, is, is because I would like uh, to now see the feather in dark field. And this means that I can see the feather now bright on dark background. It also looks very nice. And this is how it looks in dark field. Uh, we can actually see that it does look a little bit blurry sometimes. And this is because I had to open the condenser up a little bit. Uh, that is not a technical thing that I'm just uh, telling you. Um, and I'm focusing back and forth. Uh, so you can see that some, of par some parts are going into focus while other parts go out of focus. Um, and now also the barbs themselves now look a little bit more transparent. These are now the tips of the feather and you can see that the little barbules, this little hair, they start to become shorter and shorter. Um, yeah. And you can also see that there is a little bit of dust in the background. That's actually one of the general problems uh, with a dark field. It's again a bright field, field image here. Um, that, uh, dark field is very sensitive to dust uh, and uh, if there is anything on the slide then you can immediately see this uh, light up very uh, here example you can see it light up uh, very well on the dark background okay uh, but i think this is it i hope you enjoyed this little exploration um, of the chicken feather i wish you a nice day and of course as always happy microbe hunting bye bye